that the, the banner has, has always had a fascination with church history and the, the, the way in which Christian truth has been expressed through church history. And, and there's a good reason for that, because really there's nothing new under the sun. That whenever you begin to trace back the, the history of the Christian church, you discover that issues that have come up over the last 50 years, uh, many of them had already surfaced during the first 50 years of, of the history of the church and the first five centuries of the, the history of the church. Uh, so the more we, we understand uh, what's happened in the past and how the Bible addresses the things that have, the church has faced in the past, the better equipped we are to, to cope with the present. So, for example, the issue of new perspective that has come up uh, in recent times in the, the, the um, theological colleges and the, the wider church world. Uh, the, when Cornelis Fenner produced his, his book uh, dealing with the new perspective, what he really did was to go back to the Bible, back to the, uh, the scriptures and see what the Bible teaches about justification. Um, and by going back to the, the truths of scripture and Notably, as it was addressed in places like Galatia uh, and in Romans, part of which was addressing a, a distortion of, of what it means to be justified in God's sight, uh, giving that that foundational teaching um, gives the basis for addressing the, the problem that was surfacing more recently in church history. Um, it may well be that in 10 years' time, 20 years' time, a uh, new perspective is consigned to the ancient history of church controversies, uh, but the, the need to understand the doctrine of justification will continue.